Hi, in this session we are going to make application about RLC series circuit. This problem says a digital ammeter in AC mode. A resistor R of resistance 100 ohm and a coil of inductance L equal 0.32 Henry and of negligible resistance and a capacitor of variable capacitance are all connected in series across a sinusoidal source of voltage delivering UG equal UM cosine omega T U in volt with T in second. Figure one. So this is figure one. As you see, you have R, a coil of negligible resistance L, and a capacitor of variable capacitance C. Since it is variable, I am going to add this arrow. When you see this arrow, this means that you have capacit uh, variable capacitance. It says here a double trace oscilloscope means an oscilloscope with two channels is used to display the voltages across the generator and across the resistor. Its time base is 1.25 millisecond per division and its vertical sensitivity is 5 volt per division for both channels. So I am going to write SH equal 1.25 millisecond per division will SV is equal to 5 volt per division. Part 1 says show how the oscilloscope must be branched to display the required voltages. So I am going to put the ground at one end of the resistor and one phase of the channel I am going to put it here so that this one reads UR and the second phase I am going to connect it here so that it reads UG. This is UG from here to here. This is UG. Question here, do we, know, do we need to press the invert button? No, we don't need to press the invert button because the two voltages have the same direction. This is part one. Part two, use figure two to find the period and the frequency of the source. So I want to find the period and the frequency of the source. Since the two waveforms have same period and the frequency, I can choose one of them to find the period and then the frequency. The best one I am going to choose Figure 2, our graph 2, as you see graph 2, it starts from here, moving down, you reach 0 again but in increasing order, then you reach 0 in decreasing order, so this is a period T from here to here. How many divisions? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so the period is 8 division. I multiply it by SH which, which is 1.25 you get 10 millisecond. But since the frequency is in Hertz I should change it to second so you get 10 times 10 power minus 3 second so it is 0 0.01 second and the frequency F is equal 1 over t gives you 1 over 0 0.01 gives you 100 hertz. Okay, 
Part three, which the waveform leads the other. Let's look at the two figures. In order to know which the waveform leads the other, I can look at the crests here, at the maximum voltage. If I use it, I notice that the maximum of one is before the maximum of two, which means that one reaches maximum before two. Yeah, and this implies uh, one leads two. He didn't ask about justification, but if he asks, you say that a waveform one reaches waveform two before at lesser time, at less time. Type. Part four, part four, which, which waveform displaces UG? Uh, we studied, we studied that the maximum voltage of that generator is always greater the maximum than the maximum voltage of UR. Since here we are observing one of them is four, UR and the other one for UG. And always the amplitude of a UG is greater than that of UR. Except in one case, when you have current resonance and the pure inductive coil, then U of G is equal to U of R. Okay? So I can find here which one, le uh, which one represents UG from the amplitude. The amplitude of U1, U1 maximum is greater than U2 maximum since same as V. If they have different as V, this means that have a they have a drawn on different scales, then you should calculate the amplitudes. But here, because of same scale as V, you can notice directly that the higher amplitude uh, is greater, and so it represents the amplitude of voltage UG. And this implies waveform 1 represents, represents UG. So, waveform 2 represents UR. Part 5, write numerically the expression of UG as a function of T. So, number 5, he wants UG, but we know that UG is equal to UM cosine omega T. In order to calculate it, I need to calculate UM and omega. UM, it is U1 maximum, okay? UM equal U1 maximum, which is equal to divisions times the SV, which is 5, which gives you 10 volt. Still I need, I calculated new maximum, still I need omega. Omega can be found either 2 pi f, which gives you 2 pi times 100, gives you 200 pi radian per second. Or you can use omega 2 pi over t and you get the same answer. Six, determine the value I am of the current and deduce its expression as function of t. So six, he wants the maximum amplitude I am and its expression I. Maximum amplitude, as you know, it is calculated from the amplitude of voltage UR. 
Let's look at the amplitude of voltage UR. Look here. From here to here represent the amplitude of R, since one represents UG. And my oscilloscope is reading UG and UR, and one UG, so two represents UR. Two represents UR. So UR maximum, which is U1 maximum, is equal. How many divisions is U1 maximum? As you see here, it is one large division and two small divisions. Each small division, each large division is divided into five small divisions. This means that a small division is 1 over 5, which is 0 0.2. So you get here 1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 gives you 1.4. So 1.4 times 5 gives you 7 volt. Then I maximum is equal UR maximum over R, which gives you 7 over 100, gives you 0 0.07 ampere. Now, I want the expression of I as function of T. If you look at the given UG, UM cosine omega T, will phi zero of UG. This means that UG is the reference. And the instantaneous current I will have the same form as UG. Yani I deduce that I is equal I M. Since this is cosine, I should be in cosine. Cosine omega T plus phi. I have calculated I M, I have calculated omega, I still want to calculate phi. What is phi on the figure? <coughs> phi is the phase shift between, between the two graphs and you can find this shift, this shift between the two graphs either between two maximums, as you see here, this is phi, or two consecutive zeros where the graphs are increasing, or two consecutive zeros where the graph is decreasing, or between two minimums. This is phi, and as you see, phi corresponds to one division. So I write here, phi corresponds to one division. But as you know, phi is expressed in radian and not in division. So I should change it to radian using the following formula, phi equal 2 pi d over capital D. The small d is phi in divisions. Yani D correspond to one division. The capital D, it is the period in divisions, which is eight here. So you get here two pi here, two pi times one over eight, which gives you pi over four radian. And since, as we have said, one leads to, well, one is reference, don't forget, one is the reference since its phi is zero. So two lags one. So I write here, two lags one, two lags one. 
يعني this implies phi is equal minus pi over 4 radian and we get the expression of i which is 0.07 cosine cosine 200 pi t plus pi over 4 where where t in second i in ampere that Seven, it says calculate the average power consumed in the circuit. So I want the average power. The average power, seven kilo. Seven, the P average. Since I want P average, this means Consumed by the circuit, this means I want the power consumed by R, L, C. So, average power consumed by R, L, C, by definition, U, I, cosine phi. Don't forget here, when you want to use the P average, you should know which voltage, which effective voltage U, and which effective current I should you use here. Here, since I want RLC, this means I want the effective, the total effective voltage. Okay, which is the same as the effective voltage of that generator. So you get here, U, uh, but u is equal u maximum over radical 2 and i effective equal i maximum over radical 2 yani which means that p average equal u maximum over radical 2 times i maximum over radical 2 cosine phi which gives u maximum i maximum over to cosine phi why i have done this because i don't have u effective or i effective and i didn't like to calculate them so i proved this formula and now i substitute or you can find the U effective directly or I effective directly and you substitute. So you get here. This formula should be proved before it is used. Equal UM, which is 10 times I maximum, which is 0 0.07 divided by 2 cosine pi over 4 so calculate you get 0 0.25 watt okay still you can use another method which is or we know that the the average power is added additive. Yani this means that the total average power is the sum of the average powers consumed by each one of these three components. So I write the P average equal P average of R, P average of L plus P average of C, which gives you R I effective square, the average power of R. You know that P average of L and P average of C, each one of them is zero because L and C don't consume electric power. Equal, equal R I maximum over radical two square, equal R I maximum square over 2 substitute you get r 100 
Li maximum 0.07 square over 2 and you get the same answer 0.25 watt. Okay, part 8. Starting say starting from the definition of UL our starting from the relation between current I and UL, write the expression of the voltage across the coil. So he wants UL. And this sentence is given as a hint, okay? He could have said, you uh, calculate UL, and so you should calculate it directly. UL is equal L di over dt. Substitute L is 0 0.32, and I want to make the derivative for I. This is I. As you know here, this is constant multiplied, so I put it as it is. 0 0.7 times derivative of the cosine is minus sine 200 pi t plus pi over 4 times the derivative of the angle which is 200 pi so you get here minus 0 0.32 times 0 0.07 times 200 pi sine 200 200 pi t plus pi over 4 Multiply this using the calculator you get 0 0.32 times 0 0.07 times 200 times 3.14 and you get here minus 14.1 sine 200 pi t plus pi over 4 this is ul where T in second will you L in volt. Suppose I'm going to ask a question which is not given here. Suppose I ask I ask you to calculate the maximum voltage of the coil. How should how should you calculate it? How to in, or, or to specify it? Look here, every number multiplied with, with a sign, and before sign, the positive number is the amplitude, without the negative, because the amplitude cannot be negative, as we said. And you can find UL maximum here, you can find it from proportionality. As you see, a sign decreases, UL increases and UL is maximum when the sign is minus 1 so you can find UL maximum the amplitude by putting minus 14.1 times minus 1 which gives you 14.1 volt also I have another question here notice here the maximum voltage of UL is 14.1, which is greater than the maximum voltage of the generator, which is 10. Okay? In RLC series circuit, you may get the U maximum of L or a U maximum of C greater than U maximum of the generator. 
Why? Because voltages, sinusoidal voltages, act as vectors. The final result with L and C and R will give you a voltage less than, e, uh, the, uh, less than the voltage of UG, except in one case, as we said previously. So, don't be astonished when you see UL maximum or UC maximum greater than UG maximum, but only in case RLC series circuit, only in this case, you may get this result. Suppose another question, calculate the phase difference or determine the phase difference between phase difference between UL and UG. Okay? How to calculate this phase difference between two? In order, as we said previously, in order to calculate the phase difference, both UG and UL both must be in same form. Since UG is equal 10 cosine 200 pi t. So the form of UL must be also in the form UL maximum cosine 200 pi t plus phi. Okay? This minus, because you have sign here, this minus correspond or always the minus before corresponds to a phase difference here. And the expression, you have UL maximum amplitude which is positive. In the expression, when we write the expression of UL, always you, you or any voltage similar to the reference, always you should have a plus here. So I should get rid from minus sign. Okay? How to get rid of minus sign? You have cosine trigonometric formula, cosine alpha plus pi over 2 is equal to minus sine alpha. So I am going to use this trigonometric relation to get rid from minus sine and to change it to cosine. Okay? I am going to write the expression of I up. I may need it. 7 cosine 200 pi t plus pi over 4. This implies minus sine 200 pi t plus pi over 4 is alpha. So I get here 200 pi t plus pi over 4 equals cosine 200 pi t plus pi over 4 plus pi over 2 which gives you cosine 200 pi t plus uh, 2 to 3 pi over 4. Okay? Yani this implies UL will be equal 14.1 cosine 200 pi t plus 3 pi over 4, where t in second, UL in volt. Okay, this is UL. I have changed UL to cosine form with a positive here, with a positive value. So this is the amplitude. 
when cosine is 1. And so you get the same value of the amplitude here. The phase difference, the phase difference, since UG is the reference, so the phase difference of UL should be found relative to UG. The phase difference, which is phi of UL relative to UG, don't forget, which gives you 200 pi t plus 3 pi over 4. This is the phase at time t. Minus the phase of UG at time t, you get the, what's called a phase difference. This cancel with this, and you get the 3 pi over 4 radian. Type. As you see here, UL leads UG by 3 pi over 4. If their contradiction you have taken that the phase difference of UL is a pi over 2. And here I get the phase difference of UL 3 pi over 4. Is there a contradiction between uh, that two? In order to answer this question, don't forget this is UL relative to UG and not UL relative to I. You have taken UL leads I by pi over 2 and not UL leads UG by pi over 2. And to check this, let's find the phase difference of UL relative to I. UL relative to I equal the phase difference. Tartini, the phase of UL, which is 200 pi t plus 3 pi over 4 minus the phase of I, which gives you 200 pi t minus pi over 4. And so you get this, cancel this, and here you get 2 pi over 4 equal pi over 2 radian. So, as you see, you still get UL leads I by pi over 2, okay, as you have studied. Uh, the last part says the capacitance of the capacitor is made to vary so that the digital ammeter in AC mode will, will read the largest possible value. Okay? This sentence is very important. Why? Because AC, the digital ammeter in AC mode what does it measure? The ammeter, in, the ammeter in AC mode, don't forget, it measures effective voltage and not maximum, sorry, it measures effective current and not the maximum current, which is calculated from the waveform on the oscilloscope. So here, he says the I maximum I effective takes maximum value, maximum value, I am going to call it I node, and be all. What is then the phase difference between I and UG? As you studied, in this case, we said when the current takes maximum value, when the maximum current takes maximum value, in what case are we, to, uh, are we in? Do you know? We are in in the case of current resonance. You studied in case of current resonance, the I maximum takes maximum value, I node maximum. And since I maximum equal 
I effective over radical to means when I maximum is maximum, يعني ال I effective takes maximum value. So, sorry, this is uh, nine part nine. So the I effective maximum, I am maximum. So the question here. I maximum, what is the phase difference when the I maximum or I effective takes maximum value? And as you studied, this is the case of current resonance. So, and the phase difference in current resonance is zero because effective, because UL cancels UC. Okay? And the circuit will be resistive. Yani, this implies I is maximum. Yani, this implies the circuit is is in current in current resonance, which means this implies U G and U R or I are in phase so this implies phi equal to zero the last part did you the reading of the ammeter and the capacitance of the capacitor so he want to deduce the reading of the ammeter yani he wants the maximum effective current in this case and the capacitance of the capacitor as we said, this is the case of the current resonance. And as you know, you have the law of addition here, which says that UG equal UR plus UL plus UC. And in current resonance, UL cancels UC. Yani these are zero, which means that UG equal you are. Yani the two voltages have the same value. They are equal. Yani they have also the same graph. Okay? Since they are equal instantaneously, I did you they are equal. Um, uh, their amplitude are also equal. And their effective voltages are also equal. So we write U maximum G is equal U R maximum, which is 10 volt. Okay. Continue. So, and U R maximum is equal R I maximum. No, this is the maximum value. Yani I node maximum equal U R maximum over R gives you 10 over 100 gives you 0 0.1 ampere. So the maximum effective current is equal I node over radical 2, which is 0 0.1 over radical 2, which gives me 0.1 divided by radical 2 gives me 0 0.071 ampere. Okay. I, I have a question here. Why I didn't put you uh, uh, I put you you maximum G 10. U maximum G as calculated before is 10. And you are maximum calculated before is seven. Why I have taken the 10 volt and not the seven volt? Do you know the reason is that the voltage of the low frequency generator is the constant voltage and the voltage of the resistor varies with the value of the current. And since these 
cancelled each other, the value of the current has increased. So the reason here is because the u of the generator is the constant one, and u of r is the variable one. And he didn't say that uh, uh, that I changed the oscilloscope, uh, the voltage of that generator. Okay, because of this, I have taken 10 volt. Type also another question: Do you know how to draw the two curves in this case? Look here. Since this one becomes 10 and both have the same waveform, this means that the amplitude of R should be increased to coincide with the amplitude of UG, and the two waveforms become one form. Since what? Since these two waveforms are drawn according to same as V, okay? If different as V, you make it uh, you still see the different uh, different curves, although they are equal. So here I still want to find the capacitance of the capacitor. So we want to calculate C. We still in the case of current resonance. What are the properties of this uh, case? One of the properties, also, that the frequency of the generator, F, must be equal to the certain value, specific value, called resonance frequency F node. So I am going to use this fact to find C, because C is contained in F node. So you get F equal 1 over 2 pi radical LC squaring, you get 1 over 4 pi square LC, which gives you C equal 1 over 4 pi square LF square. Substitute, you get 1 over 4 pi square 0 0.32 will F 200 pi, all of it square. I calculate here. You get 2 times 10 power minus 7 farad. Okay, and this is the end of the problem. Uh, I still want to give a note about this case. Okay, note. Look here, you have two values for the frequencies. Note. You have the frequency of that generator and you have the resonant frequency of the circuit which is F node and which is equal to pi radical LC. This in general, they are different. Only for one case, they are equal, which is current resonance. So, in this case, what? have we done here? The F of the generator doesn't change. So this is constant. What is done is that we change C so that both become equal. So to get reson current resonance, first you can keep F of the generator constant 
and vary L and C so that F equal F node and you get current resonance. Another way to get current resonance is to keep L constant and C constant L constant and C equal constant yani this implies F node equal constant in this case I should vary F so that F equal F node and we get current resonance okay so vary here F so that F equal F node and you get what's called current resonance in this problem we have used this case okay this is the end of this session and good luck